Hello, my name is Drunksa aka Jen. Um, I hail from Ajax, Ontario, Canada. And speaking of that, hold on please, I have to put the light on so I look better. <laughs> you guys see a better clear view of me? It's really dark in my bedroom. Hold on. I'm deeply sorry about that. Um, put everything in place so I don't look um, like a slur. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be too kind or flattering. Yeah, good enough. Oh, I want to take the pink pants. I like them. I'll show you. Okay, so in all fairness, I have something to talk about. <laughs> it's my friend that I let on the computer yesterday. Well, number one, I'm not his girlfriend. Um, he has bad schizophrenia, delusional disorder, bipolar. Like, the list goes on and on. So, in his... Oh, hi, Nick. Um, in his mind, he feels that I'm his girlfriend. But I only dated him for like a month and it was like not a serious relationship. How can it be? Especially in a setting where you're with that many people. And I mean, it doesn't stop people from having sex here. I mean, one night there were seven, seven different people hooking up, I counted. And I was just, I wasn't one of them. I, I've never had sex on the, on the premises, but a lot of people have. <clears throat> Anyways, on to better uh, things. Um, it's raining in Ontario. That's a bummer. I have, doc I have my MRI coming up, and I'm really nervous. Because, like, I'm kind of claustrophobic. I, I think most people would be if they seen this machine where you lay, you lay on it, and then it, you, it goes in and out and takes pics. And... You have about that much room, and then they give you an oxygen mask so you know people freak out. Oh, you think that they're cute pants? Thank you. <laughs> but no, my ex, he, he lies a lot too. Um, me dumping him had nothing to do with um, him pooing at the bank and leaving half naked and all that. <laughs> That, that, that was just, like, it has nothing to do with that. I, I, I mean, people make mistakes and accidents. But um, I just got fed up. Uh, and his behavior, in, oh, it was so bad. Trying to get him to walk faster. Try to get him, you know, not leave the Walmart. And say, okay, we're going to meet in this space, whatever. Um, I do have Facebook. But right now I, I'm logged out because I and I don't remember my password or anything. I think I might make a new one. <laughs> but um, back to what I was saying. Um, it's pretty bad when you're dating someone and they run in, like, and they're think security guards are thinking he's gonna rob the place. Meanwhile, he clocks himself in the toilet. But I guess he had a lot more coming out than he thought because. When he came out, there was, part of me, there was diarrhea and <laughs> feces all over his legs and everything. I was so thrilled that a cab actually took took us on because the cab that showed up, he, he got, like, naked and stuff. And this dr cab driver was like this. And he's like, sorry, guys, I can't take you for a ride. And I was like, okay. But um, as for me... I'm doing okay. Um, I do have to make a Facebook, that's for sure, because I can't remember the password to an old um, 
Hotmail I used to use. I only use Gmail and uh, Yahoo. And I have to redo that too because I don't remember the passwords. It's a pain in the butt, but you gotta do it. So, that's kind of history of that guy. Like, I, I'm not trying to make him look bad. I still tell him we can hang out as friends. We just can't be a couple. I said, you know, he could be Brad Pitt or something. I wouldn't, I would say no. Because it's just, that's, you follow the rules for a reason. And more importantly, why would you want to do that? Knowing that they're, you're right beside someone or you don't, you, you know what I mean? Or you don't want to respect the rules. It's just, there's no reason to be like that. Have some self-respect. No, he wasn't beating off naked. What happened was, um, he had he has a bad. I don't know if he has colitis or something, but um, he ran to the bathroom through the bank, and um, I guess he couldn't contain it all, and it went all there was shit. Okay, I'll just say it, there was shit all over his pants. He took off his pants in the parking lot. And there was poo all over his legs. I guess he tried to clean it, but he couldn't. And he was wearing no underwear, so uh, the cab driver could see everything. And me too, because I've never seen it. <laughs> we never had sex, so I've never seen it before. Not that it matters, because we're not dating. But um, I told him, I said, put your pants on. They're going to be dirty anyways. I said, do you want to get arrested for public nudity? <laughs> Yeah, I know I should. I mean, where are you from? But yeah, Canada does have its perks, that's for sure. Yeah. But yeah, it's hard. Most of the people where I live are extremely mentally ill. Um, I just suffer from de clinical depression and anxiety, and clinical depression means you've had you've been depressed for at least a year minimal. Um, so it's easy to treat, luckily. But um, I don't know. It's just uh, you do what you gotta do. <laughs> but anyways. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all later. Bye.